If you didn't know this was an actual fish in real life, you would think it is some fictional sea monster in one of your favorite horror movies. But the anglerfish is no fiction and is one of nature's creations. The anglerfish are one of many flesh-eating deep-sea animals that are as ugly as they come. The anglerfish always wears an angry-looking, mean face, but it has every right to be this way. It may be the ugliest animal in existence and inhabits the most hostile environment on Earth, the dark, isolated bottom of the sea. With such an environment comes the need to behave in ways that can only help you to survive as long as you can. Today we bring you some strange facts about a strange creature, the anglerfish. 1. There are 200 anglerfish species. The anglerfish may be ugly, but there sure are many of them in the waters, with over 200 species. The majority of these live in the dark and gloomy parts of the Antarctic and Atlantic Oceans, where they live just about a mile away from the very surface of the seas. These creatures are usually dark gray in color or even brown. Their heads are large, and they have funny-looking mouths that are not only large and scary, but also contain some massive, translucent teeth. You may find some anglerfish to be as large as 3.3 feet long, but this is not regular, as the majority of anglerfish are even smaller than one foot. 2. They are cunning We have already mentioned that these strange fishes have really large mouths, and if you're an anglerfish, that would be one of the best things you have, because they can swallow up to twice their size with just that mouth. But taking that the regular anglerfish is smaller than a foot, how do they get to capture their prey? It's simple. This actually applies to the females, which makes one of their most distinctive characteristics that helps in their survival in the wild seas. The female anglerfish is equipped with a dorsal spine that has a protrusion just at the top of their mouths. This looks like what we humans would call a fishing pole. The anglerfish uses it in a similar manner. This dorsal spine has a bright light feature that the anglerfish uses to bait its prey. Once the target is close enough, the larger than usual mouth does a good job of capturing it and sending it down the digestive tract of this ugly and cunning creature. 3. Males are smaller and vulnerable The females are the most cunning of the anglerfish. The male is rather small and better looking than the ugly females. The males do not need the luminous dorsal spine that the female uses to lure prey into its large mouth. Instead, the male anglerfish has its own secret weapon, which it uses to survive and procreate. Young male anglerfishes swim through the free seas looking for the perfect female. Their relationship can be compared to a parasitic one, where the males are certainly not the victims or the host. Instead, the male anglerfish has developed a special evolutionary skill to latch onto the female using his teeth. These teeth are as sharp as the typical new kitchen knife, but that isn't the end of the story. This process takes a while, and the male continues to do this sort of thing for some time. He eventually fuses himself with his female counterpart and connects his skin to hers. He also connects with her bloodstream, where he loses his eyes and other body parts leaving only his testes. Ooh. You can begin to imagine why males are much smaller than females. Another fact is that the female can carry even six male anglerfish in this procreation process, where the male is sacrificed. 4. Anglerfish are a family The name anglerfish is not the name of a specific fish, as you already know, there are over 200 anglerfish species, including sea devils, frogfish, sea toads, handfish, monkfish, and batfishes. They are named as such because of their style of predation. Just like any other fishes, a group of anglerfish is called a school. 5. All anglerfish have an appendage. Since there are over 200 of them, it seems impossible that all of them would have similar features, but they do. The anglerfish family all have an appendage dangling right from the top of their heads, 
which we mentioned that they use to lure some prey into their large mouths. This appendage is known as an elysium and is a dorsal fin. Interestingly, this dorsal fin can also be found in other fishes which are not even angler fishes. The fin has evolved to protrude and dangle in the area of their mouths, the right spot to get prey if you want to eat them. 6. Anglerfish are carnivorous This shouldn't come as a surprise for a sea monster that is not only ugly but scary looking and always wearing an angry face. The anglerfish is one of the many carnivorous fishes in the seas and has the perfect set of tools to lure and eat prey at will. Of course, it is the perfect serial killer, only in the seas. It lures prey by sticking to one spot down on the seabed. It does this for one reason, to save its precious energy, but also to create a disguise that will allow its prey to walk or uh, swim straight into its trap. Once its dorsal fin or elysium lights up, attracting the prey, it strikes and consumes the prey fast. Eating small fish and crustaceans like crabs, crayfish, barnacles, and slaters is enjoyable. 7. The males rely on females for survival. Due to their small size, the male anglerfish could be vulnerable and largely have to depend on the female for their survival. While they use this method for mating, when they've lost almost all of their body parts to the female, the males also latch onto their female counterparts as parasites to make a living and not die of hunger. When they attach themselves to the female, they can benefit from its nutrients and large resources due to its ability to hunt prey. Once the male reaches maturity, he moves on to a female for support. 8. They don't care about diet These fishes are not at all bothered by what they eat. They're known to eat almost anything they can find, especially dead fish and other things that drown in the seabed. Once an anglerfish can find it, it is likely to eat it. No one knows why a very competent hunter like the anglerfish would prefer to eat junk. Perhaps it is the male who has to make do with what they have since they're greatly vulnerable due to their size and potential dependencies on the females for survival. Live snails and some mollusks are some of the diet preferences of anglerfishes. 9. We don't know much about their habitat. The anglerfish are mostly found in very deep sea habitats. This is very deep into the waters and areas scientists have not documented well. At the deepest point, the sea is as deep as 36,000 feet, much more than the height of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. This means the seas are much deeper than the highest point of the earth, which just makes it incredible to explore. It is an unending ecosystem. These areas of the seas are characterized by so many challenges that have made it difficult to know how the anglerfish lives. These areas of the sea have high pressure as well as total darkness, which is why some fishes have the ability to create light through bodily chemicals so that they can move through. Humans have only been able to explore just about 5% of the oceans, which is not enough to know about sea creatures like anglerfish. Many of the creatures and species in the deep oceans are probably undiscovered. 10. Their body is based on habitat. Anglerfish have the ability to be formed based on where they live. This means that one anglerfish could be different from another simply because they live in different sea regions. Some prefer to live just a mile to the surface, while others are used to living in warm and often shallow parts of the sea. Those that live close to the surface are pelagic, while those who prefer the seafloor are benthic. A single sighting of an anglerfish, and you would wish you had never seen it. So you are brave for staying to the end of this video. Which of these facts did you find strange? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next video.